Hi, my name is Dara McAnulty, also known as the Young for Man and Naturalist. You can check out my blog at youngformanandnaturalist.com. I have been passionate about wildlife all my life, so I'm delighted to be introducing this video. It's all about what young people have been doing to help nature thrive across Northern Ireland during the first 12 months of the Grassroots Challenge. Since we launched the Grassroots Challenge last September, we've had the opportunity to get out and meet with 38 Young Farmers Clubs of Ulster. The Club Night Challenges provided members the opportunity to learn about our native wildlife and the small things that we can do to help. Cromlin, Curra, Anna Clone and Mike Riley Young Farmers Club all had a hedgehog workshop. They got to meet Mr Prickles' Pygmy Hedgehog. St Paul's Kilray had a bat workshop where they got to see a rescue bat. Other clubs such as Spa, Cole Rain and Morn have had club night challenges where they've built bat boxes or bird boxes to provide a home for wildlife. We've been working on some really amazing projects with young farmers including tree planting with Morn and Baz and Basham with Bleary. In August we held a scything event in Fermanagh with clubs coming from across the province to show off their scything technique. The BBC and I Homeground were also there on the day and done some great filming. I know Valley worked with AES Power Station to build swift boxes and correct them on the AES site. In June we hosted the first ever YFCU Snorkel Safari with members from across Northern Ireland uh, coming to explore our marine wildlife. There's five different clubs involved with members coming from as far away as Killinchy and Ballywalter. We also got involved in the Build It competition uh, YFCU favourite competition, I'm sure. Uh, and members got to compete to build the best bird table. And that got them through the semi finals. We really enjoyed our four days at Balmoral Show. It was a good chance to chat with the public about the project. We had loads of activities on offer, such as building our popular bottle greenhouse, which is going to Glenow Valley for their Wild Ideas project, to building flower boxes with Jack and Jamie from Ruth Island. Up to now, 19 special schools have taken part in the Grassroots Challenge. The children have been involved in a series of eight nature workshops and they've also completed lots of environmental projects. At the end of the eight sessions, each pupil is awarded one of our Grassroots Challenge badges and they're also given a personalised certificate of achievement to recognise their efforts. I hope the young people learn how important nature is through the sessions and that they're inspired to value it. They have explored a whole range of topics local garden birds, pond life, mini beasts including honeybees, wildflowers and trees, culinary herbs. Probably the most thrilling encounter with nature was getting up close to living animals like bats, barn owls and our cute little hedgehogs. After learning about their local wildlife the young people got to work to help nature in lots of practical ways. They began by carrying out a biodiversity survey of their school grounds to see how friendly it was for wildlife. Then they set to work to build bat and bird boxes and make bird feeders. They cleared overgrown ponds, they built mini beast homes. Clifton House and Ardmore planted bulbs and Riverside and Beachlawn School sowed wildflower seeds while Rostola Special School rejuvenated a patch of their school grounds. Park School made raised beds and they planted vegetables to use in their own school. The young people also went bird watching with binoculars and some like Harberton went to the local park to do this and had great fun and everyone also enjoyed playing environmental games. The latest exciting development to our special schools grassroots challenge has been the project grants. Um, this is up to £100 which all the special schools in Northern Ireland have been invited to apply for. With projects ranging from planting a woodland trail and forest space at Riverside Special School to a whole school recycling project at St Gerrard's. The Grassroots Challenge for the Duke of Edinburgh's Award, Joint Award Initiative, provides young people with the opportunity to support their local wildlife and get involved with practical conservation through various sections of their award. Skills packs help young people improve their understanding of the natural world and enhance their identification skills. Seven young people from RMI Young Farmers Club took up the bird watching pack, helping them to identify and record local bird species. The program also enables group volunteering by providing small grants and practical resources to equip young people with ideas to do their own wildlife projects. During the Duke of Edinburgh's Diamond Anniversary Tour, Beachlawn Special School met with the Earl of Wessex to plant bulbs at Hillsborough Castle. Volunteers also built wildlife boxes which were hung around the school conservation area and they conducted a litter picking session at Hillsborough Forest. Lauren High School also took to the technology rooms to build these customised bird boxes. 
Talenti Activity Group tackled an overgrown woodland within their church grounds, clearing graves and fallen trees. In the coming months they plan to build and hang wildlife feeders around the site. Volunteers with the Grassroots Conservation Group got hands-on with path maintenance, scrub clearance and hedge management on various sites and nature reserves across the country. Duke of Edinburgh volunteers with Sustrans NI met on the Cumber Greenway to clear cycle lanes by weeding paths and tackling scrub and overhanging trees. The Grassroots Challenge Expedition Kit is packed with information, identification charts and field equipment, allowing young people to observe and record flora and fauna during the Duke of Edinburgh expedition. The Gold Residential at Ardlown House in County Down saw young people come together for a week, living and working as part of a team, building friendships and creating memories. They got hands-on with practical wildlife conservation, woodworking, bushcraft and a range of outdoor activities with Belfast Activity Centre, including hill walking, paddling and mountain biking. One of the aims of the Grassroots Challenge is to give young people a voice on environmental issues that are important to them. Staff from Northern Ireland Environment Link have many years experience in promoting the needs of wildlife and the environment to the powers that be and twice this year they have shared this with over 80 Grassroots Challenge participants through interactive democracy game sessions that they've held up at Stormont Buildings. It's been an incredible first year for the Grassroots Challenge. We started off during Environment Week last September with our big breakfast launch event up at Stormont. From then on, project partners and project staff have been working throughout Northern Ireland, creating opportunities for over 60 schools, youth groups and young farmers clubs. And between them, they've delivered over 150 different projects involving over 2,000 young people. It's just brilliant to see all this take shape over the last 12 months. And we have to say a huge thank you to all the young people that have taken up the Grassroots Challenge so far and to everyone that's helped them in doing that along the way. Best of all, it's been really great fun and I can't wait to see what else young people will achieve for themselves, for wildlife and the environment and for local communities in the year ahead. Well, I hope you enjoy seeing just what young people can do to help wildlife and the environment. Why not get out there and get involved yourself? There's so much we can do to help nature thrive and programmes like the Grassroots Challenge can help you and your friends turn your wild ideas into important action for wildlife. Good luck and never be afraid to spread the good news of what you are doing. It will inspire others to do the same.